In this video, I'm going to configure a G Suite email account in Microsoft Outlook. So I'm going to configure this email, which is a G Suite email in Microsoft Outlook. And I have some emails here. I also have a couple of calendars here. So I'm going to open up Microsoft Outlook. So there are two ways of configuring this G Suite email account in Microsoft Outlook. So this is one way. So I'm going to type in the email address. I'm going to click on advance. I'm going to check this box. Let me set up my account manually. Click connect. Now this is advanced setup, so I'm going to click on Google. Click next. So just enter your password here and just sign in. So this is one way. So the other way of configuring a G Suite email account with Microsoft Outlook is that you have to download this. It's Google Workspace Sync for Microsoft Outlook. It's an exe file. So I'm going to click on download and it's downloading here. I'm going to click open. So it's installing. I'll click close. Now here's where I enter the email address. I want to make sure I check remember me. Click continue. So it said choose an account. This is the email account. I'm going to click on it. Scroll down. Click allow. It says authorization has been granted successfully. I can minimize this. So this menu box appears and I have two options. I'm going to click create profile. Click on start Microsoft Outlook. And this is going to start up Microsoft Outlook. So now it's syncing. So the Google G Suite email account is synced with Microsoft Outlook. And you have all these that are synced. Google Contacts, Google Calendar, Google Mail. So you want to uncheck this. Open this window when Microsoft Outlook starts. So every time you open Microsoft Outlook, you would not get this window. I'm going to click close and the emails are here. I'm going to click on the calendar and the calendars are here, tech and staff. Now on the taskbar, the sync icon is here. Click on that. Click on set mailbox size limit. Now you have these options, 1 gig, 2 gig, 4 gig or unlimited. You can select whichever one you want. I'll select unlimited. Click OK. I'm going to close Outlook and I'm going to open it back here. And this is Microsoft Outlook 365. And now you can test it. Click new email. So I thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.